Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about are wikis. So let's say you've got a GitHub repo and it's becoming a popular project and you're realizing that this readme file down here really isn't going to be enough for you to truly encapsulate what your project does, how the different elements work. So GitHub provides wikis. If we come to the wiki tab, simple enough, create the first page in your wiki. Now wikis are going to be the documentation for your project. There will be a home page. So uh, it's a WYSIWYG display. What you see is what you get. Um, we can choose headings and you can see it is the markdown syntax right here. You've got a choice for a bunch of different ones. Markdown is the default. That's the one that uh, most people will use. So inside of here, um, this is my sample home page. We can get rid of that. This is just general information about our project. Okay, now edit message. This is just like when you're making a commit to your repo. You want to be able to leave little notes for your edits so you get a history of the edits. So I save that. Now this is what the wiki will look like once you've created the at least the one page. We have here two buttons. One for editing the current page that we're on and another one for creating new pages. If you want, you can even have a custom footer that appears on every page. Uh, this page is going to be called underscore footer. So if I click in this, there it is, underscore footer. This is the title. So this will not show up. If you use this name, it doesn't show up in the list down the side over here. This is something that you would want to appear on every page. So I'll save that and it doesn't appear in this list of pages. It just becomes this little footer message at the bottom. So common message that you want to appear at the bottom of every page. Want to create another one? All right, let's create another page. So some other feature. And this is probably a best practice where you would create one page for each of the major features inside your project. So not really uh, putting much of any real value in here. We're just going to add these pages. And you can see as we add the pages, they will show up here. So you will have a navigation menu down the side. And it's just a simple and easy way that you can add documentation that other people can follow so that they know how to use your project. All right. So hope that helps. Hope that encourages you to start using the wikis, get beyond just that initial readme.markdown file and get into actually giving some real valuable content to your users. If you have any questions, please post them below. And as always, thanks for watching.